You both said today that you love each other and I believe it, but I'm trying to tell you love is not enough for a successful marriage. There's so many other things that go in it. It's not just about you anymore. Here is today's case. I may have done some things in the past myself, but my wife, she's no angel. Brian's insecurities will have him go through my phone and accuse me of things that I'm not doing. I believe Tiara is cheating on me, and I'm here today to confront her. Brian has disrespected me in this marriage, and if things don't change, I'm done. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Dickerson versus Dickerson. Thank you, Juan. Brian Dickerson. Hey, Your Honor. You have brought your wife, Tiara Dickerson, to court today. The two of you have been married for eight years. You have four children together, but you said over the years you have grown apart. You're having a number of issues in the relationship, and you want to discuss them here in court today. Yes, Your Honor. I will hear from you first, sir. Give me some background. All right. Well, we met in high school. Mm -hmm. That's where me and Tiara first met. Um, everything was wonderful starting off. Um, it's just that today we are here because I just feel like my wife has one foot out the door. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I feel like she hides messages from me. Mm -hmm. um, switches contacts in her phone mm -hmm. and social media is like a big problem mm -hmm. in our marriage and I feel like everything that she's been doing is more so on revenge mm. because of mistakes that I have made in the past. Mm -hmm. um, also, I um, just feel that with our sex life, it's not the same as it used to be before. Mm -hmm. You've been together for 11 years, and what do you have to say about that, Ms. Dickerson? Or, or, I got a lot. Do you, ha do you have one foot out the door? <laughs> Borderline. Why? I love my husband, but at the same time, like how he said, with the messages and switching names, I won't have to do that if he just trusts me. When it comes down to me having friends, male friends, period, he automatically thinks that I want to be with them. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's something within himself or what or because of his past, but I don't understand. Well, you've been together for a long time. Yes. So has it always been like this, with the lack of trust? And I say it started our first daughter. Mm hmm So it's been up and down. What did you do initially? Initially, um, she found different uh, messages in my phone in the past. Mm -hmm. Before and that. That was like one of the biggest things that she had on me. And she would continue bringing that up. Well, that but was a long time ago. That was a long and you, time and ago. And the two of you decided to stay together and work it out? Yes. Was it a, a, an emotional affair or a physical affair? Emotional. And you've had, you, were, you had multiple <laughs> and that's what you're talking about when you say you talk about the past? Yes, just, um, with, just in the past, it's just been multiple times that I did mess up, mm -hmm. and I, I, I'm not going to lie about that, but that was way in the past. Right, because you, I mean, the two of you got together when you were only 20 years old. Mm -hmm. So you were very young, but you're saying you grew up and grew past that, and, yeah. and the two of you decided to move forward, and at some point, did he actually mature and decide to commit to the relationship? I say uh, our third daughter is when he start growing up, really. He was still taught to females. He's saying me, like I'm the problem with Facebook and stuff, mm -hmm. but it's really him. He got a whole bunch of Facebook groupies. Snapchat. Still? Now? Now. Okay, is that true? Or these have, are fans? These are yeah, fans. Yeah, they are just, just fans. They are they, only fans. Yes, and I have not, <laughs> I have not um, had any type of emotional attachment or anything mm -hmm. like that, but the main reason why I even had like trust issues with her or insecurities was because of our sex life. Like it's been very lacking, mm -hmm. uh, especially after we started having children and raising a family. And mm -hmm. I understand, you know, certain times you can't, mm -hmm. you know, you have to plan accordingly sometimes. But 
for me to have to always initiate, mm -hmm. and I understand me being a man, you know, that, you know, I have been doing that, mm -hmm. but... And so yes. you think because she doesn't initiate that she is perhaps seeing someone else? Yes, it's, either, it's, it's either two options to that, okay. Yana. It's either she doesn't enjoy our lovemaking or that she's getting it somewhere else. What's and the answer to that, ma'am? I don't need to get it from nowhere else. But I'm not going to initiate it neither because he's been doing it since we've been together. So you feel like that is his role? Even though he because, has expressed to you and like, communicated to you, tried. he'd like for you to do that sometimes. Okay. Yes. When he told me that Valentine's Day had came and I had got the sex coupons, I thought, because we seen it on TV. What is a coupon? TV. What is it? What okay, is it, like, it'll say five minutes quickie or... Oh, it's a coupon that says, okay, you gave it to him. Yeah. that you could do that he could give, he could give to me when he wanted it done. Okay, and, and was he able to redeem his coupons? Mm. I, I got those coupons for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And then I used two, just mm -hmm. two. And then after that, the rest was expired. Okay. I ain't get to use none of the good ones. Why did, why did you let him use all the coupons? He you tried to use food? it when he made me mad. So I don't want to do that, none of that. But he still has unused coupons to this day. So you've been mad choice. ever since then? No, he ain't never used them no more. <laughs> that was his choice. Well, I appreciate the creativity and the gesture. But I think what he's saying is he'd like to see some additional follow through. How many coupons did you give him? It was a packet. Like... It was an entire packet and he only got to use, he only got to redeem two. two. That's, That's it. it. I don't know, Ms. Dickerson, that, that, that seems kind of unfair. Your solution for seeing these messages in your phone is that go and ask the general public on Facebook. People who don't even know the two of you at all. So you want them to thumbs up or thumbs down whether or not this is inappropriate for your marriage. That's, that's what we're doing now. What, what else is going on here? With the social media. Oh, social media, isn't it something? Mm -hmm. That adds such a different dynamic to relationships these days. Why? Because it's just easy access. Anybody has access to you, and that's been one of our big issues. And, it, you know, like you said, we do talk and discuss things, and we agree upon certain things, and there's no follow-through on On them. social media? On social What's media. What's the agreement for social media? Um, when we have certain people, Your Honor, that we may have an issue with, mm -hmm. we'll go to each other and talk about that and let, and let each other know that we don't feel comfortable with that person being on our social media. And we may, you know, we usually block them. Okay. Or, and in one situation, that, that didn't happen. He mean so me. someone was not blocked. She did not block someone that and you didn't wasn't. like. And was it? That's right. Okay, what about the messages raised your suspicions that something might be going on just the, because they were messaging? No, Your Honor, because a heart was sent to, you know, uh, um, to each other and they was... The um, heart emoji a yes, heart. A was heart. sent from him to her. From me to him. From me. Okay, but you didn't see anything about them meeting up or anything like that? No, they didn't meet up, but they had a tendon on to meeting up. To, to, to do what, according to the messages? Get a shirt here, Well, know? the shirt wasn't in the messages. The okay, what, what, what happened, ma'am? So I had about six people in our house when he came home from work. So when he wanted to talk, I seen my phone kept lighting up. I'm in my client's hair, I'm doing my client's hair, and I look, and I'm like, why my phone keep calling someone and hanging up, calling someone and hanging up. So I'm like, all right, I'll be right back to my client, walk to the back, and I'm looking for my watch. So I go, he goes, what you looking for? I said, my watch. Why are you looking for your watch? I said, because my phone keeps lighting up calling someone, and I'm not calling them because I'm in my client's hair. So who, who you been talking to in your watch? I said, not right now. I will talk to you when my clients leave because I didn't want them in my business. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's not telling you that he screenshot, took a picture of the watch and the messages that he saw me and my friend talking about, posted it on Facebook, asked everybody, does this look like a friendship to y'all? Your 
solution for seeing these messages in your phone is to go and ask the general public on Facebook. People who don't even know the two of you at all. Mm -hmm. So you want them to thumbs up or thumbs down whether or not this is inappropriate for your marriage. That's what we're doing now. It was all females. Your Honor, I I, I knew that was wrong. I I know. And I had apologized to her for doing that. But I just was so upset. And, you know, when you're upset like that, you don't really How long was the Facebook post up? Like, for a couple of hours. It probably was up for, like, an hour at the most. That's that's pretty embarrassing, don't you think? It is. He, yeah. he used to doing stuff like that, though. So, so do, do y'all do that? Do y'all put stuff on posting oh, on social I media about each level. other? I did. Yeah, what she, did you she, do? She what did you too. post? I sure did. Because I seen um, a girl in his phone, and I said, oh, he does this to me, so how would he like it? So what did you do? I posted, a, well, pictures of his conversation, but not the whole conversation. Mm-hmm. I just screenshot all the messages was lined up in boxes. Now, was this was this back when he was engaging in the e- 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 having the emotional conversations with other people or recently? Oh, this was recent. My concern is with you being willing to walk that line because you feel like you're not getting it at home, you're seeking out that attention elsewhere. And my concern is you're gonna cross that line from the emotional to the physical. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. This is the thing about social media because most people post their good times. Not y'all. <laughs> Trips, pictures, um, special occasions. Not the Dickersons. Mm-hmm. No, when he goes down in the Dickerson house, they go into Facebook. Yeah, and I, and I, I know that was wrong, and that's something that we have, we both have been working on, but... I need y'all to work harder. You don't need everybody in your business. Marriages are already at oh, challenging man. and difficult enough without you putting the entire world, people don't, who don't care anything about your success or failure, putting it out there for the entire world to see and judge and criticize. Because what happens when the two of you bake up and get back together? Well, why are they together? Mm-hmm. He's doing all this. She's doing all this. You don't want to hear mm-hmm. all that commentary. Isn't it time to look at how green your grass is? You're right, Yana. Mm-hmm. And I, I do appreciate her. I really do, and I love what her. What is it going to take to make this work? Just really following through with our agreements and whatever we discuss and really keep things into our household instead of letting the world into our business. Can you do that? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, another thing that's really been bothering me as well, Your Honor, um, one particular morning, I was running late for work. I end up jumping up out the bed because I'm trying to get ready so I can go ahead and be on my way to work. Mm-hmm. And come to find out, she has started hanging wigs on the wall. <laughs> and so <laughs> when I jumped up like that hey. and I seen it, at first I didn't know what it was. So it kind of scared me. I, you know, I jumped back. And... Um, you know, ever since that day, I didn't have something against wigs because it, it kind of frightened me, really. And it's... Listen, e- e- everything's relative. Everything's relative. But the stories I hear that, that come through this court, these problems you have, I'm not trying to minimize them, but on a scale of like one to ten of what I hear every day, they're like a point two. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Let's let, you know, y'all don't look for problems where they aren't there. And if it's something simple that you can right. resolve, if the, the man wants to take selfies in his bedroom, can you not, can you, can you draw the I wig somewhere move. else? I can move. And Your Honor, with, with the hair situation, and I support her with doing hair and everything, but her doing hair at home has even caused more issues because like one, one day when I came in, I take boxing classes. So I take an extra shirt because I, I be sweaty, so I like to change. So I took the shirt and uh, well, I changed after boxing class, came into the house, and she seen a hair on the shirt and accused me of being with another female before coming home from boxing. I just asked him where he was at. 
Because of the hair? And, and you know you have hair all over the house. Let's see, what happened was, I ain't got no hair. I understand that, but you got all those wigs. And I wasn't That's right. wearing them. <laughs> so then I was just like... So you, really, do you, so you really think that he's out hanging out with someone else? I ain't know. Because of the messages? Because that's the, that's the problem. I'm, I'm going to tell, tell both of you, because you, you seem like lovely people. And you, you have four beautiful children together. And you've been together a long time, since you were 20 years old. You started very young. Mm -hmm. And you've grown through maturing in life together. 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 So you've had all of oh. these life experiences that 20-year-olds go through. I mean, that's, you know, when people are learning the most about themselves. Mm -hmm. you, the two of you did that in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You go through peaks and valleys when you've been together for 11 years. Your, your, even your, your sex life goes through peaks and valleys during that time period. Mm -hmm. And the love languages that you have, they change and evolve over that time period. So you're constantly discovering the way this person needs and wants to be loved. And so what you have to do is communicate that and listen to that because what I'm hearing today are not deal breakers. What I hear all mm -hmm. day long are absolute deal breakers. And I have to struggle with people who have children together and how are you going to function as co-parents at, at the level that they need to with everything I've witnessed in their relationship. And I just don't hear that from the two of you. you you've, you've made some immature mistakes. Yeah. And, you know, you, you, and, and you keep tiptoeing to this line because you have this desire, you, he, he is expressing to you a way that he wants to be loved, and that is initiation from your part. I, I want you to hear him yes. on that, because that's the way he wants to be loved right now. He wants to be shown that attention and that affection. My concern is with you being willing to walk that line because you feel like you're not getting it at home, you're seeking out that attention elsewhere, and my concern is you're gonna cross that line from the emotional to the physical. And you have all of these beautiful children and this family, and I don't want to see you do that. And ruin this beautiful future, this foundation that you all have built together since you were 20 years old. Yes. You know how many people don't even make it to where you are today? You know, he wants, he, he wants you to hang your wigs in another room. Can we do this? We can do that. Yes. And the last thing I want you to do is I want you to make time for each other. You have four ch children, you both have careers, you both work. You can take some of the money that you are making and have a babysitter. And once a week, it is time for just the two of you. Do you promise me you're gonna do that? I promise. That you're gonna work on that and that's what you're gonna put into your schedule? Yes, that time sir. once a week just for the two of you because I know life is happening, children are happening, family is happening, and it's been 11 years, but you two need that time. Mm -hmm. And quit looking for that greener grass because I'm going to tell you right now, your grass is really green. Water your grass. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good luck to both of you. Thank you, Anna. I feel like the disconnect happened with social media allowing others to be in our lives that we didn't really need in our lives when we just need each other and to focus on our family. As far as with the past, it doesn't matter. Once we have forgave each other and we're together, that doesn't matter. I see us growing old together, raising our four beautiful children, business and empires being built. 